Today we are going to talk about Google Ads attribution models, last click, data driven, etc., and how each of them works and what to expect for the future as Google Ads is changing a lot in that sense. So I'm going to give you a, a brief overview of all the models and the model which I believe you should be using if you run an e-commerce store and you want to track conversions and converting value. And also why I believe the data driven, the new model that Google has been promoting a lot is the best when it comes to growth. So if you look at the screen here, you're going to see we have six models currently. We have last click, time decay, linear, position based, first click and data driven. And the way these models basically work is that uh, there are different ways to see which ad is responsible for bringing in a new customer or a repeated uh, customer to your brand, to your uh, online store. If we are talking about e-commerce, which is what we talk about in this channel. So for example, on the last click model, you're going to have uh, multiple ads being fed to the same audience. Let's say uh, a certain person clicks on multiple ads across their interaction with your brand, and then they uh, click on your branded campaign, your, your search branded campaign and purchase. On the last click attribution model, this whole conversion and all the conversion value, the amount the, per the person purchased on your website will be attributed, will, will show on your branded campaign dashboard, giving all the credit to this campaign. Now, this is an interesting model, depending on your strategy. However, this, uh, this model don't, uh, th doesn't give us the whole um, uh, picture of what actually happens before someone made a purchase. There's a lot that went on before they clicked on that last ad that led them to a conversion. And that's why we have multiple different models to choose from and uh, data di driven being the newest one which relies on AI. And I'm going to talk uh, more about it uh, um, at the end of the video as I believe this is the future of attribution and Google is also going towards uh, go in this in this direction. So we also have time decay, which is an interesting model as well as well, as this is going to attribute um, the sale, the conversion to multiple ads, multiple keywords or multiple ads or multiple campaigns in that sense, depending on uh, time. So it has a seven, uh, seven day half life, where it's going to attribute different values to your ads, more value to the newest uh, interactions and less value to the oldest interaction. So if someone clicked on your ad on, for example, a YouTube ad of yours uh, 16 days ago, and then they clicked on a search ad three days ago, the three day ad is going to receive a much bigger, uh, a much bigger percentage of the responsibility of the attribution for that conversion, which makes sense as that's the ad that made them uh, convert that's the ad that brought them to the website and made the the purchase most likely so that's time decay we also have linear which attributes the exact same uh, emphasis to each of your conversions and when i mean emphasis and when i mean uh, attribution for one conversion and this di distribution what i really mean is for example someone made a purchase of $100 on your website. If this pers person saw uh, four ads, for example, before they the, the, the purchased on a linear um, attribution model, each of these different four ads are going to receive uh, the responsibility for bringing $25. So $100 divided by four touch points, uh, theoretical, theoretically for this attribution model, uh, the person saw four ads, that means that all these ads have the same amount of responsibility for making them become a customer. And therefore, uh, each each ad, each campaign deserves a 25% uh, percentage, percentage uh, of the attribution for that ad. Now, linear is an interesting model. However, we know that uh, if someone saw an ad six months ago, and then now they are seeing um, um, a, a whole new campaign effort that we did, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, so linear is not a model that is used quite a lot. However, still interesting to mention. We also have position based, which is basically a model that attributes 40% 
of the attribution of the um, amount for the first click, 40% to the last click, and divides 20% between the clicks in the middle. So let's say I launched a YouTube campaign back in the day that brought this person in. This initial campaign gets recognition, gets 40% of the recognition for making someone become a customer. Uh, at the end of the day, this, this ad was the responsible for bringing them into our funnel. Then we have interactions in the middle, which are more like the nurturing ads, the display ads that are being shown on websites and social media, uh, not social media in that case, but on, on Google feeds and etc. And then we have the last click. So I have one ad at the end of the sales funnel, right before this person made a purchase that made them click and buy. So we have this similar attribution to the first click and the last click, and then we have the 20% of the attribution divided between the ones in the middle, which is a quite interesting model as well. You can see uh, that the goal for all these models is to try and find truth with standardized approaches, which is exactly uh, what makes data-driven so special as I'm going to explain to you in a second. We also have first click attribution, which basically gives all the credit to the first ad that was uh, clicked by that person, which uh, uh, coming back to my example here, if I launched that YouTube campaign a uh, while back and that's what put people, that's what brought people into my funnel, that's the ad that's going to get the attribution. So this is quite an interesting attribution model, especially for growth focused companies as this is giving priority to campaigns that bring new people in. For example, YouTube uh, prospecting campaigns or um, display campaigns or other methods of uh, uh, campaigns or, or types of campaigns that uh, aim to bring people in. Here we wanna uh, give credit to those uh, top of funnel efforts, which is very interesting. Now. The problem with all these attribution models, which I believe is what made Google create the data-driven approach, is that, as you can see, none of them are perfect. No uh, company has such a perfect uh, customer journey that one of these models are going to fit perfectly and represent this journey uh, accurately. You can, you have, you definitely have the best one for you, but you don't have a perfect one for you, which is what Google is trying to create with the data-driven attribution. So the way data-driven attribution works is Google will use historical data from your conversions to determine a weight to each touch point dynamically. So now Google, the same as they did with Performance Max, they're, they're putting the, their AI uh, in evidence here because they want to find an attribution model, they want to attribute sales based on AI, based on what they believe, based on your account and not a standardized approach, based on your specific account and your funnel, your website, what does the customer journey look like and how we are going to attribute accurately. So this is a quote from Google, it looks at all the ways that people interact with your campaigns on their way to conversion assigning conversion credit along the entire conversion path. Which means they are now trying to create one model which is perfect for your specific situation, which is why it's so relevant. Now, there's definitely a learning curve there. There's definitely uh, some improvements that have to be done. There's always evolutions that have to be added to this model so that it actually becomes perfect and it's already working extremely well here at Leadways Galeria Advertising. We use data-driven attribution to, uh, for all of our clients. We work with uh, companies doing anywhere between 500,000 to 50 million a year, and we are seeing data-driven as the best attribution model, the model that um, represents more accurately the whole funnel, uh, and uh, we, we, we check that with client metrics and so on and so forth. So this is a little bit of attribution models. This is where Google is headed uh, for the future with data-driven attribution. I hope you had a good understanding. Now Google is going to uh, end time decay linear position based in first click and only keep around data-driven and last click 
for advertisers that want to use these two models still. I strongly recommend using data-driven moving forward as this is where Google is putting all of their attention. We still have the problem of not having a multi-platform attribution model, which would be fantastic for uh, verifying Google ads against Facebook ads or Facebook ads against TikTok ads, for example. Uh, but data-driven is a first step in that direction. So I hope this was valuable. I hope I gave you uh, some uh, knowledge in terms of which, uh, which um, each attribution model does and how you can better use them for your store, for your business in general. Uh, hope to see you here again next week. We are going to have another video talking even more in depth about data-driven attribution, and I'd love for you to see this video as well. So that's pretty much it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.